There are more reads and reactions taught in this layer than any other. Here's a list of what the players will learn in this layer. Spacing and spots are synonymous. Since good spacing yields good offense, then learning how to use the spots is tantamount to learning good offense. Correct spacing is absolutely necessary for learning the read and react. Whenever a pass is made one spot away from the ball, the passer must make a basket cut. This is a rule that will never change. If you see a team that passes and stands, you can be assured it's not the read and react. Empty spots are to be filled with the highest priority being those spots one pass away from the ball. Players will learn what are front cuts and rear cuts and when to use each one. Players will learn what the read line is all about and how to use it. I'm going to teach this layer the same way I would teach it to the players. First, the big picture and then the details. I'll get the big picture going with a simple give and go, fill the hole, five player drill. There are two reactions that need to be automatic. One, if you pass the ball one spot away, then you must basket cut. That is, you must touch the spot underneath the basket. Two, if the spot above you in the direction of the ball is empty, then you must fill it. If this happens, the cutter will always have an empty spot to fill out to. First, let's learn it from corner to corner. The corner cut looks awkward because the only open spot after the cut is back where he or she came from. This doesn't happen when you're playing four out or three out, and even with five out, it's going to eventually be solved with other options. But for now, we just live with it. Now let's pass and cut randomly. When you move to a four-out formation, nothing changes but the spots on the perimeter. With the four-out formation, six spots are created on the perimeter. Sometimes this works out to be a temporary overload on one side, but it can always be worked out. I've instructed the post player to simply stand in the mid post, high post, or short corner in order to illustrate that what you do with your post player has nothing to do with the habits and actions that are taught in this layer. When you go to a three out two in formation, the perimeter spots change back to the same five spots that are used in the five out formation. With a little practice, players change from black to blue and blue to black without thinking about it. However, sometimes in training they have to be reminded and I simply yell out the color of the spots that they should be using. The next read in this layer might be the overall most important aspect of any of the passing and cutting actions in the read and react offense. Here it is. For most teams at any level, the three point line is our read line for an automatic basket cut or back door, rear cut, whatever you want to call it. The habit that must be automated is this. If you are one spot or one pass away from the ball and your defender has even one foot over the read line, you must basket cut. There's no signal, you just cut. This serves several purposes. The first one is, we must have a counter for defensive pressure on the perimeter. When the defense is over the read line, the odds are stacked in favor of the offense. Consider that this is a foot race to the rim from the three-point line and that both players are equal in speed and quickness. The offense is facing the goal and the defense has its back to the goal. Who's going to win? All things being equal, the offense will win every time. The second purpose of this automatic back door is if you don't cut and you allow the defense to deny you the ball, you effectively shut down the offense on your side of the floor. You've cut the ball handler's options in half. But consider what happens when you do cut. 
Even if you don't get the ball, you vacate a spot on the floor that another teammate's going to fill. There's a much better chance that a teammate moving toward the ball and shortening the distance is going to be open than someone who is standing still. And here's the third benefit. If the defense decides to deny this teammate who is filling the empty spot, we have a situation that's much tougher on the defense, and this is how we drill it. 